Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play South City Midnight Lady, Lady by the Doobie Brothers. I just heard this for the first time this morning. This is for a friend of mine, John. There you go. Anyway, um, and um, I'd never heard it before, which is pretty surprising because I'm a Doobie Brothers fan, but I hadn't heard it before. So I sat and figured it out, worked it all up, got it all typed up, and then I noticed that some of the other tutorials are using Open G Tuning, which is much easier. So this is not right. Okay, don't write to me and tell me that's not how they play. I know that's I know that now. I didn't know that, but I went to all this work, so I'm going to show it to you in standard tuning, and maybe I'll go back and fix it and do it in open G tuning, but there's a lot of people who are already doing that out there, and it actually sounds better. But this is my version of South City Midnight Lady by the Doobie Brothers. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, I don't know the vocals because I just learned it this morning. I would sit and practice and practice and practice, but I've got some other songs I want to do. I've got some other stuff i got to do. So I'm going to throw this up there for my friend, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to play it through once, and then I will go back and show you how to do it step by step. Oh, you can go to rainydayguitar.com and print off the words with the chords. I've got pictures of kind of the unusual chords. I'm going to mess up because I just learned it today, okay? <clears throat> And I've never heard it before, and there's a lot of words and a lot of chords. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You gotta learn not to squeeze so hard on electric as it goes sharp.
walking up. I'm farting too much today. It needs a break. that my pinky started wigging out on me okay all right so let me kind of walk you through now it really is going to help to print this off if you want to play this in standard tuning all right because there's just a lot all right so basically I'm just going to take you through it and let's just start from the top because I don't know any other way to do it so we're going to do on a G now you could totally pick this song doing some cool little, they're doing little fun things like that, but you can only do that if you're an open G. I tried it and I just couldn't do it. Anyway, no, actually that was another song I was working on today. Okay, anyway, uh, this one doesn't have that little slide up, so it's just kind of a pretty little version. If I were going to pick it, I'd probably use this as my basic pick, so I'm going bass, bass, two, three, no, bass, two, three, one, two, three, one, bass, two, three, one, two, three, strum written right there okay bass down up down up down up okay and I'm on a G major seventh which is like a G but this ring finger would be pushed back and that's hard to grab to the second fret so I'm gonna grab it like that and um, I do have a picture of that there for you okay so six five and one is on the first um, first string second fret that's your G major seventh then just drop these two guys down take off your pointer that's a C major seventh Okay, so I'm going to go, you can either go down, down, up, down, up, down, up for that first one, or you can go bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, either one sounds great. Then drop these two down on your C major 7th and go down, up, 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 down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 up down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 just repeated that little riff four times, okay? Now I'm going to start singing. I'm going to keep doing the same thing. Up all night I could not sleep. I just call it D4 because it's shorter to type and then lift up your pinky again and I'm going on the D I'm going down down up and it has that right next to it down oh down up down up is what I've got and then your D4 down up down oh that's different than what I just did and then lift up your pinky again and go up 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 down up. let me try that it's shaking hands That's not what I did during the song. What I think I did was this. Shaking in the Yeah, I think I went down, down, up, then put your pinky down, 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 up, and then down, down, up, up, down, up. That works too, okay? All right, then she made your seventh. Um, well, the sun came up the different on a G. I'm going to go down, down, up, and then a C, down, down, up, and then a G, down, down, up. And I have that typed up. And then I'm going to do this little walk up, okay? So this little, it says walk up, but I do not tell you what it is on the paper because I couldn't figure out how to type it. So I'm putting my pointer on the first string, sorry, second string, first fret, and I'm going to pluck two and five together, 
and then I'm going to put my ring finger on the second string third fret and pointer on the fifth string second fret and hit two and five again. It's a fun little walk up, you should learn it. Okay? It goes both ways in a lot of different songs. So you should learn it. Okay, I'm sure there's. Yeah, I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> But that one I know. Okay, so that's a pretty fun little walk up. Practice that when it says walk up, you'll just know. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, walk up. Okay, and that leads you right into a C very nicely. Now we're to the chorus. The chorus is down, up, down, up, up. Okay, South City. Can't remember the where it starts. South City Midnight. No, I think that's at the end it goes higher. South, oh yeah, this is lower. I always forget, I always want to go higher. South City Midnight. Then go to a B minor and give me, th give me up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So two ups, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Try that pattern because you're going to do this pattern kind of for the most of the chorus. Down, let's see, down, up, down, up, up, up. C to B minor, I've got to tell you this is a B minor, okay? I've got a picture of that, you're barring the second, tall man on two, ring and pointer on three and four, hopefully you know these chords. Okay, okay, so that's your B minor, so C, down, up, down, up, up, B minor, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, then I'm gonna do that same strum with two different chords, so you're kind of splitting the strum. Go to your A sharp, which is like an A, but up one, and your bar on the first fret. And I'm going to go down, up, down, up, up. And then I'm going to go to an A minor seventh, which is just two and four, first fret, second fret. And I'm going to go up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so let me kind of play that. South City Midnight Lane. with the C. You sure about, sure about then I'm going to go to the B minor and it says down, down, up, then an A minor, down, down, up. Memes, A minor, and actually it's easier just to slide but I keep forgetting to do that. Because I'm on the right fingers, just take off your pointer. So on your B minor, just lift up your pointer, slide down two frets. So then I'm going to go G. Now here's the tricky little part. I ran out of room at the end of the page, but I want to type that same little thing where it's got the G down, down, up in the C, down, down, up the G, down, up in the walk, up. So I underline this little segment that I just said, okay? Then down here I'm out of room and I can't type it. And I'm out of room at the bottom of the page too, so there was nowhere without going, you know, two lines onto the next page. Who wants that? Nobody. So I went ahead and drew a little line back up to that segment so you know when you see that GCG that's what I'm doing and then it comes up two or three other spots in the song and it's just underlined and I don't want to have lines going all over the paper and I couldn't fit it everywhere so anytime you see a GCG underlined this is what you're gonna do what I showed you before down down up down down up down down up walk walk okay anytime you see that GCG underlined that means Go do that little thing that I did. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, walk, walk. That leads you right into a C. Okay? Okay, so where are we? Sure, 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 B minor, down, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, okay? Now you're going to do what I just showed you. G, C, G, walk up. Walk up. Back to your C. doing it wrong. Let's see. Thought there was no reason for all, all these things I do. Let's see. Up, up, down, up, down. Every day, every minute I come up with a different strum. It's weird. Okay, and they all work. But the smile that I said. Back to your seat. Smile that I said. And I'm going to repeat this. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Then I'm going to just do a G. Five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to repeat the first verse, but I'm not going to walk, I'm not going to tell anything about it because it's all a repeat of what we've done except the very end. 
this obviously. I'm going to show you the strumming way then I'll show you what I've written, okay? Down, down, up, and then I'm going to slide up to a, this, I'm calling this a slide up C because I'm sliding up to a C. So I have pointers on the first string, third fret, and these guys are on two and three, fifth fret, and I'm just going down, down, up, and then I'm going to go, you could just go, but I'm clearly hearing a seventh. So the D would be that, just like the C, but up two frets. So if you want to get that seventh in there, which is what I've got a picture of, you've got to go back and hold down one, two, and three with your pointer on the fifth fret, and then your ring is going to take the second string seventh fret. And I would go down, down, up, up, down. Okay, let me tell you what I've got written. I've got a pick here. Four and one, two, three, one. Then go to your slide up C, four and one, two, three, one. And then your high D seventh. Four and one, two, three, one. Pause, two, three, one. Okay, let me show you what that sounds like. I sometimes find myself alone. I walk. Sometimes find myself. Can't remember the melody. Alone. showed you before it's underlined refer back up top strumming course this is all a repeat I'm going to strum it I am not strumming what I told you to strum so let me try to do that Trying to stick to what I wrote. Much Now we're in this little guitar part. We're going to do an A major 7th, which is barring the 1st fret, tall man on the 3rd string, 2nd fret, ring on 4th string, pinky on 2nd string. Both of those guys are on the 3rd fret. Then you should lay your bar across. Since I don't get a great, well, you should bar all 6, but I might only bar 5 because avoid 6 because I get a better sound. But it's not that big of a deal. Okay, there we go. We're going to count 8, no, 12 counts. 1, 2, 3, Care what you strum, you can do straight downs if you wanted to. I wouldn't, I'd go kind of stay with one of my other strums. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So I gotta count though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then change to a C for four strums. One, two, three, four. Okay, do that three times. Okay, so we just did it once, we're gonna do it again. One, two, Locked. One, two, three, four. One more time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to do the A major seventh for eight only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it goes right into the G major seventh. One, two, three, four. It's kind of an intro. Actually, I should be going like that. I like that, which I do. Okay, so I'm going to do the intro four times. This is my second, we'll pretend. Lost count. Three, four, no, three, still three, four. After four times, you're going to go 
up and grab this. So that's just your high D. You could do a high D. Oops, you could do a high D seventh if you want to, or a D. I don't care. So a D again is, or a D seventh is barring the fifth string, bottom three strings, and then ring over on the second string, seventh fret. And I'm just going to go down, down, up. Then I'm going to slide down to this one, and I'm going to go one. I'm going to go one, three, and two, three, third fret, and third, third fret, and fifth fret. Down, down, up. And then a D, down, down, up. And then a C with a base of D is just that. Okay, we're going to not do our whole C. We're just going to instead of having this, we want that base. Okay, so I actually think that I've got this picking, I do, which is kind of cool. I really like that, isn't that pretty? So instead of strumming, let me try that again. So you're just coming off, I'll pretend this is the last time. And you go back into your strumming, isn't that pretty? The intro again, four times. Well, actually three times, which is this. We're going to go to that little underlined thing, G, C, G, walk, walk, back to the chorus, sa, 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 oh, C, sa, this funky ending okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna do an A minor seventh four counts then a B four counts then a C four counts then an A sharp major seventh which I showed you already and I have a picture of it and then I'm gonna slide up to the sixth fret same exact position this is a D sharp major seventh pretty huh and then go back to your F and then go back to your G Okay, each of those gets four counts, and you repeat the whole thing four times, but on that last one, you just hold it, okay? I'm going to try to do that. I don't know how much battery I've got left. If it dies, go to radiodigitar.com and print this off. I'm going to go ahead and try to put the ending on. We'll see. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start with our A minor seventh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, one. Ah. One, two, three, four. Sixth fret. One, two, three, four. F. G, one, two, oh, stay here, eight counts, five, six, seven, eight, A minor, seven, four counts, one, B minor, C, A sharp major, seven, six frets, slide up, that's a D sharp major, seventh, and an F, G, eight counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two more times, B minor, C, A sharp, I'm losing it. Six fret. My hand is fried. F, G, ah, pinky won't bend. Two, three, four, five, six, time to stop. One, two, three, four, I lost my place. One, two, three, four, B, C, A sharp major seven, six fret, D sharp major seven, F, now I'm just gonna, the fourth time we're going to pretend it is because I'm done. Okay, then I'm going to go uh, to a G. I don't know if anyone else has pinky locking issues, but my pinky gets jammed when I fart too much. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. That is my version of South City Midnight Lady by the Doobie Brothers. You can go to rainydayguitar.com and you print off the words with the chords and pictures of the chords and tips and all kinds of things. I think it's harder in this version than the open G, but I didn't figure that out in time. So anyway, there it is in standard tuning for you if you would like to try that. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. For more fun songs, go to rainydayguitar.com.